na, naomba nimalizie mafundisho nilianza kuhusu malango. Haleluya. Wow. Eh, imekuwa na public demand anasema tumalize wacha tumalizie leo na bwana atatusungumzia naomba tuangalie mus, na my version you know my, you understand my version gani yangu sio NIV yes verse 15 let's go to verse 15 verse 15 want to go Shalom the son of Kohan, leader of the district of Mespa, prepared the fountain gate. Can you say fountain gate? Fountain gate. Ebu lango la chemchem. Lango la chemchem. Verse 26. Verse 26. Moreover, who dwelled in, made repairs as far as the place in front of the water gate so i want you to look at this one they never repaired this they repaired in front bwana sifiwe hebu sema lango la maji and verse 28 beyond the horse gate the priest made what can you say horse gate sema lango la faras good Go to verse 29. After them, Zadok the son of Emma made what? Repairs what? Of his own house. After him? Aha. Uh-huh. Yes. Then keeper of the east gate. Ebu sema east gate. Ebu sema lango la mashariki. The last one is verse that one. After him, Maha, one of the made repairs as far as the house of the and of the in front of the Ebu sema mip card gate. Okay, hiyo ni ngumu. Sema inspection gate. Sema lango la ku inspect siju ku eh la uka ukaguzi lango la ukaguzi. Unajua jana ilikuwa inaletea shida kitu kinaitwa Uh, launch launch ni uzinduzi eh hey. ukaguzi baba ninaomba ukasungumze na watu wako siku ya leo wewe ulianza hii na wewe tutakamilisha wacha kuwe na urejesho katika maisha ya watu wako kama jinsi hizi hii lango ilirejeshwa haya malango yalirejeshwa ni ombi langu kwamba Bwana ukarejeshe siku ya leo kila ambacho kinahitaji kurejeshwa katika kanisa lako. Sungumza nasi katika jina la Yesu tuseme amen. amen. Naomba uketi chini ya uwepo wa Bwana na Bwana akubariki. You are blessed to be in this place in Jesus name. Amen. Ni, 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 nilisungumza lango karibu nilisungumzia malango kadhaa karibu malango tano nikaacha tano lakini kwa hii tano ninataka tu kupitia tatu alafu mbili nisungumzie kwa undani lango la kwanza vile tuliona pale kwa wale ambao mmekuja leo nilikuwa tunaongea juu ya wakati Nehemia Mungu alituma arejesha malango na niashiria mambo ambayo Bwana anarejesha kwa kanisa lake by the way kama tuna, wakati tunahitaji urejeshwa ni sasa kwa sababu kanisa la Bwana lime backslide hivyo ndio bishop alituambia jana which is very true the church of jesus christ has really backslidden people have gone back to the world you sometimes wonder you know kama nyinyi wengi mko social media mnaona watu wakitusi kanisa unakasirika but deep down your heart unajua kabisa hata sisi tumekosea bwana yesu asifiwe hata sisi tumefanya nini? Niliwapatia ushuhuda juzi. Kuna kitu mimi moyo wangu lilia. Wakristo wengine walikuwa nyaya stadi wamekiombea maombi. Wengine wakasema hii haijasikika, wakaenda Jivanji Garden na, 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 na imagine, imagine how can how can a church be divided like that? Mabishop wako nyaya stadi kuombea maombi. Wengine wako Jivanji kuombea maombi. Sasa ni Mungu gani hii tunaomba? There is something wrong somewhere. 
And that's why the Lord is declaring a restoration. Dio Bwana nasema ikuja na urejesho. So, please give me that, that sketch, that, that picture. Bwana akasema, the first thing alisema, verse 1, irejesho ya lango gani? La kondo. Ambayo Bwana anarejesha wakofu katika nyumba yake. Tulisungumzia hayo sita rudia. Then from there, ikarejeshwe lango la samaki, the fish gate. Ambayo tunasema Bwana anaanza kurejesha uinjilisti kulete mioyo katika nyumba ya Mungu. Kama vile we uliletwe, Mungu anataka ulete mtu na umwambie mtu Yesu anakupenda. At least that person. Mwambi, I remember nimesoma mtumishi mmoja ambaye yeye mwenyewe alimuomba Mungu akamwambia Bwana, ninaomba unipe nafsi moja kila mwaka. I mean not kila mwaka, every day. So huyu mtu anaenda anahubiria watu siku moja akawa bisi. Akawa bisi akasao kupata akukosa nafasi ya kumwambia mtu habari ya Yesu. So kufa, alimwambia Bwana sitaki jua iteremuke kabla sijashuhudia mtu. Na siku moja ikaenda na akakumbuka jua linatua na ajambia you know, kuweka nadhiri na Mungu. Alingangana kutafuta mtu kumwambia Yesu, akaona mtu mmoja. Kumuona kwa sababu jua linatua akamkimbilia. Hata wewe ukikimbiliwa na mtu ambaye umjua unafanya nini? Jamaa alikimbia naye akamkimbiza. Woo! Alikimbia. Jamaa alikimbia mpaka kwa nyumba yake. Ha, naye akaingia nyumba. Ha. Jamaa akaenda bedroom. Ha, e akaingia bedroom. Ha. Jamaa akaingia chini ya kitanda. Ha. Alafu akamwambia Jesus loves you. Na akaenda. That is how serious watu wako. George Whitefield alisema Lord. John Knox ambaye ni mwanzilishi wa Presbyterian Church mnaita PCA. Alisema Lord give me Scotland or I die. Imagine Na, na George Whitefield akaomba akasema Lord give me soul so you take away my soul. Mimi na wewe tuna watu tunakanda wao tuongea siasa, kuongea vile tuta invest but you have never shared Christ with that person. May God have mercy on us. Mungu atusaidie tu so to, number 3 old gate. Old gate tulisema hii haijengwi, hii inakuwa repaired. Praise the name of the Lord. Hii ni kurejesha mafundisho ya kweli. Siku hizi madhabahu ya saa hii. Mahubiri ile iko ni ile ambayo mnataka kusikia ndio mseme amen tulibarikiwa. But the Lord is bringing the, the, the principles of his word and restore the truth back to the church. Tukaenda the valley gate. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The valley gate you stop down. Una you can unasateremuka una ufikie watu na huyu atamsaada katika watu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na tukasungumzia the dung gate. The dung gate, tuli, hapo ndo tulimalizia, nikisema tunabeba hata vitu ina majabu ya jabu ya watu. Amen. Mama ubeba mpaka cho ya mtoto yake, lakini anakuwa mkubwa. Hata sahi mama ame, ame sifu wakina boas. Lakini hile mapupu amebeba ya kina boas, ni mingi. Lakini musasi ya yandangi ya kisema, sini kweli. So today, nataka niongea about the fountain gate, the water gate, the horse gate, the east gate, and inspection gate. Lakini taruka kidogo, because nataka kuja kumalizia na the fountain gate and the horse gate. Let me touch the water gate. Kam, ebu sema water gate. Ebu sema lango la maj. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, in these last days, the Lord is restoring the ministry of the word. Amen. Amen. Maandiko anasema kwenye kitabu cha wa Efeso, tano, shirina, tano, na shirina sita, wake pendeni waume zenu. I mean, waume pendeni wake zenu. Pole. Kama jinsi kristo alivyo penda kanisa. Na akaliosha kwa maji ambalo ni neno. Mandiko ya nasema kwenye kitabu cha John 15.3. Musha kuwa wasaf kwa sababu ya neno. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. So water represents the word. So buwana anarejesha sasa neno katika kanisa. 
Wapendwa kuna ushirika zingine na kanisa zingine tunaendanga. Misho, kuna mikutano mingine unaendanga una regret kwa nini umekuja? There is nothing hakuna neno na Mungu. An any fellowship ambalo halina neno hauna sababu ya kukaa hapo. We come to share the word. We come to share the bread of life. We meet together, we gather together to share the word. Tunakutana kushiriki neno. Sikuji hapa kuambia shida zangu. Sikuji hapa kuambia mali zangu. Niko hapa kuambia neno la Mungu. Kwa sababu kitabu cha in the book of Matthew uh, chapter 4 ambaye ni reference ya Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 3, maandiko yanasema hivi. Mwanadamu haishi kwa nen, kwa, kwa mkate tu. Man does not live by bread alone but by every word that comes out of my mouth. So the Lord siku hizi za mwisho atakuja kurejesha neno. Ushirika utaingia na, na Biblia hii inachambuliwa. Ole wale watu ambao wanapenda maneno pasipo kupenda neno. Watu wanasema kuna hiyo church kwa sababu hiyo pastor anachekesha. Ninaomba twende kanisa kwa sababu neno linahubiriwa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Maneno ya watu iwezi tusaidia lakini neno ndio linatusaidia. So there is a restoration that the Lord is doing. Now, listen to this. The ministry of the spirit should be balanced with the ministry of the word. Are we together? Why am I saying that? Why, why am I saying the ministry of the spirit should be balanced with the ministry of the word? Because ile ni meacha, the fountain, amanta kuja kusugizia baadae, is the ministry of the spirit. So sasa baada ya ministry of the spirit, inaitaji kuchanganyo another word. Matthew 22, 29. Watu walikuja, kulikuwa na mse moja, ni kama alikuwa na bala. Alio wa muke moja, Musea kakufa mama kabaki. Dugu yaka kachukua hiyo. Na ya dugu yake ya akakufa. Musea wapili ya kakufa mama kabaki. Hiyo mama likuwa. Kwa niyo mama likuwa aje siriasi. Anauwa wana umede. Watatu waka wa. Mbaka wa saba. Wata waka kufa mama kabaki. Hiyo mama enye ni mwanaume. Wana, ye ni zaidi wanaume saba. Na wakamulisa yesu waki mjaribu. Umesama kuna ufufua ya wafu. Siku ile. Haa watafufuka, uyu muke atakuwa anani, brother one, brother two, bra, ama brother seven. Yesa haka wajibu. Haka wambia je, muapotea. Kwa nini? Kuna vitu mbili ya mujui. Amujui mandiko na ngufu ya mungu. Ma, amujui neno na roho. So hii vitu mbili lazima mujue. Mujue nini? Roho na... Tunachaka. That's why all the time ninawambia, ukikosa kujua neno na us, ukose kujua roho, you will dry up. Ukijua neno peke yake bila roho, you will throw up. Ukijua roho peke yake bila neno, you will blow up. Lakini ukijua zote mbili, you will grow up. So wezi tanganisha? Wezi tanganisha neno na roho? Wezi? Praise the Lord. Ebu sama the water gate. Amen. Amen. And this one is not repaired. Why? You cannot repair the word. Psalms 119 verse 89. Neno la mungu uwezi repair. Saai watu wameanza wale watu wa LGBT. Wameanza kuripair the word. Wanasema mungu hawezi kuwa anaitua he. Kwa hivyo anataka kutoa hii na she, ndiyo ati kwa sababu mugisema mungu ni kama mwanaume. So muna wanea wa mama. Wa mama, buwana asifiwe. Mbaka tu, tu repair Bible, yani hii kitu hii maisha imekuwa aje. Mbaka tutoe hii. Ata nikiweka she, si mungu ni mungu tu. Now listen, I'm going to repair this one. Listen, one to go. Ebu sema forever. Oh Lord, you are word is settled in heaven. If something is settled, will you repair it? Good. Let's continue. Another gate. Nataka tu kupitile because the other sabaya nataka nije nikuzie kidogo. Another gate ambaye nataka tuangalie is the east gate. Verse 29. Zakaria 14.4. 
lango la mashariki lazima lirejeshwe na zakaria 14:4 prophet zakaria 14 mstari wa 4 anasema hivi amen wala mnasasoma musome and in that day will stand on mount of now which faces aha uh-huh. on the yes yes shall be split in yes from the east to aha uh-huh. aha uh-huh. yes hallelujah now hii chapter kwa eschatology ni baada ya Kristo kuja dunia hii i mean baada ya kanisa kunyakuliwa that what, that's what you call not a, that's not rapture sorry rapture na tukae hewani miaka saba, israel watakuwa wana, hapa duniani wakiteseka na maadui wa israeli watakuja kupiga taifa la israel by the way there are almost 74 prophecies kuhusu Christ na almost 60 imetimia saa hii na zile zinaendelea kutimia saa hii number 1 kuhusu kuja kwa Yesu number 1 na ina, nafikiri inaendelea saa hii kutimia ni headquarter ya Wayahudi itatoka Tel Aviv na itaenda Jerusalem and i think that right now planning that another one ni wataji, watarudisha ile Now, unajua unajua Solomon alijanga hekalu. Nebuganesa akaribu. Ezra akina Ezra wakaja kuri, kuribuild. AD 70 ikaribiwa. Musikiti ndio imepandwa hapo saa hii. One of the prophecies ya kuja kwa Yesu. Hiyo msikiti itakuja tena kujengwa hekalu ya, ya, ya Mungu hapo pale msikiti iko. Na and I'm telling you it's going to happen very soon. Anyway, after all that In Revelation chapter 19 Yesu atarudi dunia hii pamoja na sisi. Maandiko yanasema nani huyu anayotembea juu ya farasi nyeupe kwenye paja paja la mguu wake limeandikwa mfalme wa falme na bwana wa mabwana akiwa na jeshi kuu. Jeshi kuu ni nani? Ni sisi pamoja na Yesu. Wow. Na atakuja akanyange mlima wa mzeituni na utapasuka mara mbili akitetea Wayahudi because atakuja kuokoa wa Israeli na akija kuwatetea atapiga maadui maandiko yanasema maadui wa wayahudi ndio maana taifa la Israel ni ndogo sana lakini hakuna nchi inaweza ni watoto wa Mungu Mungu atakuja kupiga maadui maandiko yanasema atapiga maadui mpaka mizoga yao itachukua miezi saba kuokot, kuokotwa akasema na mpaka damu yao itafika kwenye midomo ya farasi Mungu na hapo ndipo watalia wataona walio mdunga mkuki walio mkataa walio sema Mesia hajakuja watalia watalia wakimuona walio mdunga mkuki Yesu akija kuokoa Israel Sasa the east gate inawakilisha the second coming of Jesus So Bwana anataka turejeshe sasa tufundishe kanisa turejeshe kanisa waweze kurudi sasa waelewe Yesu anarudi tena because sometimes tunafika pahali tunakaa tunastarehe kwa hii dunia tunajanga manyumba tunasahau Yesu anakuja ninaomba hiyo roho ikae ndani yenu mjue Jesus is coming back Yesu anarudi and is around the corner i'm telling you church of god let this mind be in you be in you let may you always know that Jesus is about to come ili tusikae kama wale warembo wa, wa wangapi wajinga ambao wa, waliwakisha taa lakini hawakubeba extra kwa sababu na bwana harusi alipokuja wale werefu wakamwalika waka wale wajinga wameanza kuomba nini ninatangaza hautakuwa wale watano wajinga utakuwa wale watano werefu ambao mtakuwa tayari kungoja Yesu akirudi na hata ikifika wakati wako utangulie hautaona haya ukikutana na Yesu. Haleluya. Na hakuna mmoja wenu tutamkosa mbinguni. Nina imani katika jina la Yesu. Another one is the inspection gate. The inspection gate 
ambaye inaitwa Mifkat Gate. The word in Hebrew has a military connection and according to tradition it was at this gate that David would meet his troops to inspect them. Wakati ambapo jeshi linaanza vita likirudi hapo kwa hiyo lango ndio Daudi anaikuta na na inspect. This gate speaks to us of our examination exam, examination of our lives by the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4. Tunaruhusu Bwana achunguze mioyo yetu. Hallelujah. Yeah. Madaktari mnakuanga na screen, mna screen watu. Mna screen kabisa mtu. Bwana anasema turejeshe sasa. Now, mandiko anasema for I know of nothing against myself. Yet I am not justified by this. But you who judges me is the Lord. Who is our judge? Hebu sikize niwaambie. Patiendi Bwana awa hukumu saa hii ndio msihukumue milele. Yeah. Because ukikatasa Bwana na roje nikwambie mtu akija kukuambia kile unafanya ni mbaya shukuru Bwana. Kwa sababu unazuiliwa usihukumiwe milele. Lakini mkipenda kuambiwa tu wewe uko sawa na hakika unajua hauko sawa. Amen. Is it the book of is it which book is it second corinthians chapter 13 verse 5 nasema is it second corinthians 13 5 kabla ujaenda psalms psalms 139 inasemaje yes ndio hii one to go ebu mjiweke ratili mjipime muangalie kama bado uko kwa imani haleluya ni wangapi hivi karibuni ume, umeanza hospitali ama kuna ile mtu ratili 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 20 bob na ukajipima Amujipima inua tu mkono si hata wamama mkipelekanga watoto wanapimwa na, na, na unaona kabisa na unapeana 20 bob Mama unakanyanga na mgu moja tu hivi unaambua na mtu wa ratili ai 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 ngoja usivunje ratili yangu because mgu moja tu hivi Imeanda 79 sasa ikiwekwe ingine hivi <laughs> Na tangu my wife ajipime ratili aniambia ngi yake lakini mimi naambia kama mimi sio nangi haya naambia tu sahi niko 81 Nambulisa na yako anasema wacha yangu Sasa sijia iko chini ama iko juu Nyinyi mkiges nyaka iko wapi <laughs> Now listen to this Bwana anasema mara kwa mara jipeleke kwa ratili ya imani yako hujiangalie because unasajidanganya huko bado kwa imani na ushangae kumbe hauko katika na kitu moja acha niwaambie kitu kimoja wale wanafanyanga ajali kwa magari ni yule mtu anajua gari sana ama ni kurutu good kwa nini ni yule anajua sana amejiamini hiyo kwamba kuna kitu inawaua watu kiroho ni roho ya kujiamini aya second corinthians 10:12 hiyo ya kujiamini ndio namaliza watu na sasa sisi tumesimtwa tangu tuliokoka lini kitampo hata hata sikumbuki kwa kweli ukumbuki one to is, is this no first corinthians central sorry first, should be first corinthians central in us yes one to go Therefore. Ngoja hii neno him sio wadugu peke yao. Unajua Bible haiwezi andika him alafu stroke ha. Therefore, let him who thinks he does what? Take heed lest he. Basi na yule anayesimama ajiangalie asianguke. Kwa hivyo kuna uwezekano ufikiri umesimama. First Psalms 139 23 and 24 the last the last verses. Angalia mtumishi wa Mungu anaitwa David anasema ni David. David ambaye ni mtu wa Mungu. Hebu say want to go. Search me O oh God and know my and try and know my and see if there is any wicked way in me and then you help me and lead me. Alimwambia Bwana nichunguze duni Daudi nichunguze wangu unijaribu Mungu jua ma, ma, ansati masumbuko yangu na uangalie kama kuna kitu mbaya ndani yangu ili uniongoze kwa njia ya milele Amen. huyo ni mtu ambaye amejichunguza hebu angalia jirani yako mwambie umeanza checkups ya kiroho lini mwambie kama hujaienda leo enda checkup katika jina la Yesu 
kila saa unaandaga isinya hapa isinya dispensary huko mgonjwa pana nataka tu munipime mwangalie pressure yangu ni ngapi ninaomba leo pia kiroho jipeleka mkono ya kiroho upumue pressure wengine wenu hapa pressure iko sijui ngapi hapa that's why ukifanya hivi kidogo unalipuka uko na pressure ya kiroho ninaomba itulishwe peleka check up utulishwe haleluya ebwa kalia mambo zangu mambio pressure yako ya kiroho ni ngapi wewe umekoka lakini unasema wewe 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 musinilete mimi ile niko naye kwangu ni mingi nasaki mtu mwingine afanye nini mpaka nambe pole pole ni pressure jipeleke kwa check up katika jina la Yesu woo <laughs> haleluya now now let's go back to the two gates ambayo nilitaka kusungumzia the fountain gate inaitwa the fountain gate ama mlango la now Mungu anasema kanisa lirejeshe lango la chemchemi fountain fountain Now what is the Lord saying The Lord is saying church restore the ministry of the ministry of refreshing and restoration of the Holy Spirit Kanisa inahitaji kurejesha ile hali ya roho mtakatifu kutembea tena katika kanisa Ninataka mjue hii Nyinyi ni bibi harusi ya Kristo Na naye waandaa ni roho mtakatifu Na yeye ndiye anawaandalia bwana harusi ambaye ni Kristo Ulikuwa unatafuta jina Eliza In Genesis 24 Abraham alimtuma Eliza akaambia anda tafutia Isaac mke So kuna aina nne hata watu kuna Abraham kuna Eliezer mtumishi kuna Isaac kijana yake na kuna Rebeka mke na hivyo ndivyo sasa inatendeka Abraham anawakilisha Mungu Baba Eliezer anawakilisha Roho Mtakatifu Isaac anawakilisha Kristo na Rebeka anawakilisha kanisa na sasa Roho Mtakatifu Eliezer ametumwa aandaye kanisa Rebeka kwa ajili ya Kristo na wezi mjua Kristo pasipo Roho Mtakatifu kitabu cha Yohana 16 mstari wa 7 mpaka 9 maandiko nasema the spirit will convict you of your sins righteousness and judgment na maandiko nasema hakuna atuwezi kuja isipokuwa ni kwa nguvu ya Roho Mtakatifu so kanisa bwana anahitaji kurejesha tena Roho Mtakatifu ndio maana ipatikane power saa hizi kanisa la Kristo limekuwa ya programs not power we need the holy spirit back tunahitaji Roho Mtakatifu arudi kanisani kwa sababu ni ye peke yake ako na power. Ye peke yake ndiye anaweza kuponya walio wagonjwa. Amen. Nimefika hapa baada ya mkazi ya mama tu nilienda Masai Nyara niliita huyu tuende lakini tukaenda nikaenda na Pastor Titus. Kuombea watu pale Masai nimefika saa afiki saa 4 au usiku ndo nimefika. Na moja wapo wale watu ambao ninaombea ni mtoto mdogo. Ako secondary amerudi huyu mtoto shosho yake aliaga na alikuwa anapendana na shosho yake so mwalimu ametumana kuja ni mchukue mtoto huyu mtoto alali ye yeah, anakaa na wafu na huyo shosho yake tu anakaa na hiyo shosho yake ni nini unafikiri sasa hapa unaanda na program ama unaanda na power niliwekelea mikono chini tukamkomboa akaniambia nimesikia vizuri nikamwambia go back to school Maroza kula eni wakati wote mnaota ndoto ya wafu unahitaji kuombewa sana na acha nikwambie ukiona mtu amekufa kikwambia kuja please wacha kusema nakuja ukisema hivyo utaenda you need to say no i'm not coming maandiko nasema hatuna uhusiano and that is why mimi na bible siamini ile kitu mnaitanga ukumbusho kama maandiko nasema hivi a, a dead dog a, a, a living dog is better than a dead lion. Heri ile mbu ambaye yako hai kuliko ile simba ambaye amekufa. Mtu akikufa mumetanganishwa na yeye. Mambo ya kwenda ku renew again kwa ukumbusho. Naenda kukumbuka and that's why utakutana hata mara nyingi maajali barabarani because you are when you worship the dead it's called necromancy. Hiyo kuabudu wafu. Maandiko yanasema hata mema yake in the book in the book of I think Ecclesiastes mema yake na na na, na, na uzuri wake haukumbukwi tena 
Kitabu cha Psalms I think chapter 6 naongea and his memory is forgotten. Naongelesha watu ambao wengi ni wa Yesu lakini pia mila na desturi inasumbua. Unaanza kukumbuka walio kufa na mnaka pesa mingi sana. I challenge you in the name of the Lord. Live alone mtu akienda ameenda hata kama unampenda. Sawa, hiyo amen Mungu akusaidie tu. But it's the truth. I'm telling you. Ndio maana wengi mnakuja kuteswa na roho za wafu. Nasema nimeota. Na imagine mtu anasema hapa nakimbia nyumbani na nyanya yangu aliyekufa amenitokea leo akaniambia anda usa ile mbusi. Hallelujah. Now. This is the ministry of the freshness of the life of of the spirit of Christ. Bwana anataka kuachilia the spirit. Now listen to this. Kanisa lina linahitaji kurejeshea wa Roho Mtakatifu. Bwana ameanza kuniongelesha mambo yanayoletwe na Roho Mtakatifu ambayo ni muhimu sana kanisani. Number one, analeta what we call sensitivity. Number two, when I talk of sensitivity, you become sensitive in the spirit. You become more keen. You start be, to, to get to be aware even of the slightest personal transgressions or departure from God's will. Any time, any time, like Kanisa, Rome takatifu akitembea kanisani, at wakati wa wote, ata ukitenda dhambi kidogo hivi, unaelewa, unakuwa very sensitive. Lakini wakati roa yuko kanisani, ata tutende dhambi na mnagani, utatenda na ata utasikia. Ukisamekana, nana kwa na ushula, wana sifuwe. Mbana, mbana mnakani kama mjakunya chai. Na nwe nduo ukona zako. You are not sensitive. Mantuko nasema kwenye 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 2. Paul anasema 1 Timothy 4 2. So, want to go speaking in having their own conscience come here kuja hapa my son unajua conscience ni nini already lord lord of the mirror okay umewahi umewahi jaribu kwenda pale ukasikia ka kitu ukasema nasikia kitu kaniambia usiende sasa hiyo ndio inaitwa the mirror hiyo ro 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 wa bwana anaishi katika roho yako hiyo inaitwa nini the mirror mandiko nasema the mirror zao zimechomwa na hot iron when you do what you call the honing ya mbusi uki the horn mbusi uki kata mbusi ipembe unafanyanga nini yaba na itendelea kumea Paul anasema kuna watu the mirror yao imekufa alafu tena ikaletwe chuma moto ndiyo mana anadanganya na asiki anataka kudanganya ana, anaibia watu vitu na hata asiki Ata anafanya dhambi yoyote anakuja hapa kusema haleluya alichomwa ninatangaza kama mko hapa na mmechomwa dhamira zenu nina uchomoa kama kuna neno kama hiyo in the name of jesus christ lazima dhamira yako iwe you must be sensitive even to see to the slightest thing amen sensitivity again this you also have to be when the spirit comes you will not only be sensitive to sin you will be sensitive to other people's needs Yes, utatokuwa na machozi wengine wakiwa na mahitaji kwa sababu roho ako. Ukiona mtu ako na hitaji, unatokuwa na machozi. Wanasema kwa mama ndio anatoka na machozi. By the way, mama siku hizi hata ni nyinyi ndio wabaya zaidi. Kwa mama siku hizi hata watoku na machozi. Ni kama siku hizi wanaume yenu, unajua wanaume naendanga ndani. Ni kama siku hizi yenu ndio imekuja hivi. Yeah, Roma takatifu akiwa katika kanisa, utamtaoneana huruma. <laughs> Bwana asifiwe. Maandiko ikasema kwenye kitabu cha matendo ya mitume I think chapter 2, kuanzia 4040 hapo na kuteremka. Na watu wakalete vitu, wakashiriki kipa moja. Na maandiko nasema na hakuna mtu aliyekosa. Kwa nini? Watu walikuwa sensitive kwa mahitaji ya watu. Siku hizi ni Everybody for himself and God for us all. May God have mercy on us. I'm telling you sai Kenya hii. Wala watu mnaoona wakikufa njaa hata kabla serikali jasaidia 
kuna majirani wanakula mpaka kumwaga lakini kwa sababu watu wa squeeze hawa yangi may the spirit of god come to his church nasema roho wa bwana rejea kanisa yake we become sensitive to the needs of people we also become sensitive to the presence of god tunaanza kujua wakati bwana anatembea and the last one we become sensitive to the needs of god mungu pia kwa na mahitaji tunaanza kujua mungu kwa na mahitaji it is very easy kuwa sensitive kwa mahitaji yako lakini saa zingine si you remember enemia Nehemiah aliposikia Mungu ana mahitaji. What did he do? He fasted and prayed. What the scholars wanasema alifunga na kuomba miezi 4. Ukiuliza unafungia nini? Uko na shida? Hapana. Watoto wako na shida? Hapana. Mama yako hapana. Ni kwa nini Mungu akona shida? Sasa unaanza kwa Mungu ndio akona shida. Yake Mungu anahitaji. We call we call it hitaji. Hallelujah. Sema Roho Mtakatifu. Shuka juu yangu. In Jesus name. So when the Holy Spirit comes there comes what we call sensitivity number two, there comes what we call connectivity and you say connectivity yeah bwana anakuunganisha you start grasping the things of the spirit now unaanza ku connect hiyo ndio neno una connect woo glory umei umeisikia umeisikia inahubiriwa pahali unasema amen mbele ya watu because wewe umeshashika Unajua zamani I was very good in mathematics by the way very good in I remember I remember when I was in class 7 Mimi nilipelekwa nifanye mathematics na class 8 Nikakuwa namba 2 maana brother yangu ndiye amekuwa namba 1 kwa sababu yeye alikuwa 8 lakini watu wengine ya 8 yote nikashinda by, by the way I very good na, na mathematics Nilikuwa na kimbele mbele mwalimu akianza na mwalimu acha nimeshaelewa na sasa mimi nasahau kuna wengine hawajafanya nini na, 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 <laughs> because mimi sioni haja endelee na nimefanya nini siende nyingine ninaomba mufike pahali kama hiyo bwana akiongea unaambia bwana hata wachi hapo nimesha yeah. ni, ni, ni kuna mwanafunzi mmoja lakini algraduate mwanafunzi wangu tunamuitanga echo we used to have classes every tuesday and thursday So Tuesday tunamuita yeko kwa nini? Tuesday ninasema point. Nikisema point wengine wanashika hata wengine wanacheka. Alafu tunaenda. Tunamaliza classes, anaenda nyumbani, anarudi Wednesday na afika. Thursday tunarudi class. Sasa tuko na unajua kwa Thursday tuko course nyingine sio ile. Tunakaa saa mbili tunasomesha saa mbili saa tatu, saa nne. Kifika saa sita. Nasikia kicheka kaka kaka na watu wanashangaa kwani leo tunamuita ndugu ya mama ndugu ya mama ni nini eja hakika pasta ile kitu ilisema juice ai ni kweli kabisa sasa watu wanashangaa yani yeye nilisema tuesday ak, nimesema hautakuwa kama ndugu ya mama kwa mambo ya kiroho utashiki utashikia haraka ai ndugu ya mama anapokea thursday anacheka mpaka mpaka sisi tunarudi na kucheka hata si kwa sababu ya hiyo point tunatekeshwa naye mpaka tukamuita echo Elijah alikaa hapo aka connect unajua hata kama uko na dhambi kiasi gani uki connect na Mungu Mungu ni warehema unakumbuka ile jamaa alikuwa anafanya kanjo ya wakati hiyo alikuwa mtosha ushuru alikuwa anaitwa nani Sakai Sakai alisema yes anapitanga wapi akafanya nini na akajikone akasema kwa sababu niko mfupi na watu watakuja wengi watanifunika wacha niende wapi ninaomba uconnect na spirit katika jina la Yesu na baraka za Bwana utazipata amen haleluya number three, the holy spirit akija analeta what you call flexibility you become flexible you instantly obey him unamti if araka Paul alikuwa amepanga kwenda pahali pengine lakini roho akatoke, akatokewa usiku na ndoto akaona mtu akimwambia kuja Makedonia kuja ma... aka connect in the spirit akajua bwana anasema nienda wapi Makedonia akakuwa flexible hajakuwa rigid asama hata kama please be flexible to the holy spirit amen then number three, number four, 
And so, so that, in flexibility, John chapter 3, verse 8, nasema, mutu anaye tembea katika roho, ni kama upepo. You are flexible, ni kama upepo. Number four, the Holy Spirit, anapo ingia kanisa, kuna tuakea flow. Amen. Have we said flow? Wale mulikuwa muna tushinda na language, mana sisi kama kuna kitu ilikuwa inatushinda sisi. Kama mimi, ni kitu kuna hitu language, English na Kiswahili. Wale muna, muna andikanga composition, pages tano, muna patanga maneno wapi. Unaandika mbako unambia mwalimu, please teacher, can you help me with another? Another. Na sisi hii moja hata imeshindo kufikisha katika. Sisi ndiwa wale, mulisomanga muli zile composition ya watoto wali, wa, wa, wa zuri na wale wengine wabaya. Ni, ni news letter. Unaonaka ile jamaa narudia kitu moja. Sisi ndiwa nilugu hafa. It was on a Friday morning when my grandmother woke me up. Kwa! Sasa hapo ndo nasamanga. She woke me up on a Friday morning. Friday morning. Inaishia hapo. Lakini wale wakona flow. Wakona flow. Unaandika. Baka mwalimu ya kimaka nasema. Ninaomba pia kiroho. <laughs> Wengine wenu muna kiroho. Muna rudia rudia manendo. I pray that you get a flow. In spiritual matters. Ah. wetu mmoja alifukuzwa alisukumwa nyumbani akamwambia anda ita baba yako akarudi unajua flow kuna flow ya kurait na flow ya kuongea ndio mama alisema uko na kiingereza hapa lakini kutoka ndio inakuwa si hata nyuma nangangananga na kiingereza huko unajua umeiona unajua na kiingereza ukiwa peke yako lakini upelekwa mbele ya watu hapo kiingereza inakuwa mimi hapa nasema sitoki katika sitoki si hadi kwamba ujui <laughs> Engineer, si kwamba ujui kiingereza. Kiingereza inakaa kama baisikeli. Inaangukanga tu mbele ya watu. Unajua kuendesha ukiwa peke yako, lakini pitisha katikati ya town. Sijui kwa nini kapepo ingine tu inakuja. Ina, na uliku unajua kuendesha. Na hivyo kwa English. English unajua peke hata ukiomba, unaombanga one hour na English. Wacha uletu mbele ya watu. Nakaa kama jamaa moja ile, "Baba ita baba yako shule yetu." Hata sitataja jina shule yetu. Akarudi akakwasa baba yake mwalimu. We, kwa nini huko ita baba? Akamwambia mwalimu, Muse hapa na ang. Sasa utasema nini? Muse hapa na ang nikusema. Hakuna <laughs> hata hiyo sio kusema Muse yuko nyumba. Hapa na ang. Now, let me say this. Do you know flow inaletanga freshness? Unajua kaivo? Ah, bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mutu ambao una, una flow, una flow, inakuwa fresh. By the way, Holy Spirit aki flow kwa chachi, muna kuwa wate fresh. Na ile maji imelala, inakanga mbaka inakuwa green. Amen. Amen. Psalms 92.10. Amen. Inasema, but my horn, you have exalted like what? Wild dogs. I have been anointed with what? Fresh oil. Nimepakuwa mafuta na mafuta. Nimepakuwa mafuta na ile mafuta fresh. Ninaomba flow of the spirit. Let me tell you something. Kwa nini saa zingine kwa mfano ni naubiri, ni naansa kusema kuna mutu wako hapa na hapa. Atu kupanga, it's just a flow. Yeah, flow. Flow. Likuwa nasikisa juzi the man of God, apostle, it's not apostle, Archbishop Duncan Williams. Alisama zamani ya kiwa kijana, akaenda wingereza. Alipa anda wingereza, kuna mubiri mungu likuwa na mutumia. Akasimama, akasema, kwa mkutano, leo kutakuwa na upako ya kushiringi. Wale ukiwa mama umenenepa, unashiringiwa. Ay! Na ye ni mubiri ya kodani ya watu, akasema, eh, eh. Today, I'm going to see shrinking anointing. And by the way, I said, Malita, mama, menenapa hivi. Alimuambea tu, pounds, sikapungua, wakiwana na macho. You can, Holy Spirit, anamambo mingi sana. 
Lakini wacha sio hivyo. Ile kitu ambayo nataka kueleza akasema ye yeah, alipo alipo doubt kwa mawazo. The preacher akasema there is an African preacher in this meeting who is doubting what I said. Immediately imagine akasema Roho Mtakatifu nisamee because una doubt ro, that is what we call flow. Flow. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Flow. Sasa ingine mimi naombanga hapa. Hata hata saa zingine si kuomba. Nakatu, the Holy Spirit ananipatia hata kuhusu nyinyi. Most of you people who wanapigia simu, naambia this and this. How did I know? The flow of the Holy Spirit. Flow of the Holy Spirit. Roho mtakatifu tu ana, anatembea. One of you. I, I'm not seeing you, I'm not seeing a siku moja I don't know whether you, you are here today. Siku moja mimi nakuja kuomba hapa hapa. Bwana ananionyesha mtoto wake akiwa shule na akaniambia kila kitu kumuita hapa akasema aka ndio huu because exactly kile nimemwambia that is ile ilikuwa how did i know the flow of the holy spirit amen i declare the flow of the spirit ni nyamba mjajeso roho leo bwana awajaze roho katika jina la yesu but the flow in us your flow in us asimamishwa ni nini kwa bible kutegemea wanadamu inasaweka hiyo flow chumvi kuweka chumvi ni ina, ina block in the book of Jeremiah 17 5 and 6 message bible Jeremiah 17 5 and 6 message bible e, inasa stop hebu tusome want to go god's message cast is the strong who depends on man who thinks he can make it on muscles alone and set god aside on as dead wait for 6 for 6 want to go he is like what on the out of with the good earth. He lives rootless and aimless in a land where nothing grows. So in, in, in a block, trusting a man in a block, the move of God. Another thing is unforgiving spirit. Roya kutosame in a fanya u block abisa. Iki tu wata sisi. Wacha ni wambia. Wachungaji. Do you know kuna mchungaji ya wese ongelesha mchungaji ingine? Yeah. Kwa sababu gani? Ati wewe ulitoroka ukaanda church ingine. Hiyo tu. Very simple. Na hakuna mtu wewe 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 when wewe unafungwa na nani? Uh, but let me tell you the flow of the spirit eradicates that saltiness. Ezekiel chapter 47. It talks about the river of God verse 8 and 9 message bible. Ezekiel 47 8 and 9. Amen. Tusome Ezekiel 47 8 and 9. Bataka kumaliza hii about gates. I know somebody is working on this. I don't know whether, whether they want to write a book on it, but let them. Aya. Ebu Dusome. Did I say six? I said six and? Yes. Eight and nine. Eight and nine. One to go. He told me, this water flows east, descends to the air, and then into? Yes. When it empties into those waters, the sea will become fresh. Will become what? Verse 9. Wherever the river flows, life will great schools of fish because the river is turning the salt sea into fresh water. Today, I declare anything salty in your life, may the river of the spirit turn it into fresh water. Chochote ambacho ni chumfi katika maisha yako. Naomba mutiririko warom takatifu. Uweze kugeuza ifanye iwe fresh. Katika ndoa yako, roo mtakatifu wa ingia afanye fresh. Katika kazi yako, roo mtakatifu wa ingilia afanye fresh. Katika uduma yako, roo mtakatifu wa flow afanye fresh. Pokea katika jina la isu. Amen. The Holy Spirit also gives us fruit. That's number five, fruit. Galatians 5.22 to 23. And on care about the fruit. Quickly, quickly, let me now touch the horse gate as I finish with that. Horse gate, verse 28. Ebu sema horse gate. Ebu sema lango la faras. Na nauta kumalizia na The armies of the people of Israel would come and go through this gate in order to ride out to battle against the enemy. Ilikuwa ni lango ambalo wa Israeli wakienda vita mafarasi wanapitia wakienda wapi? Vita. Ebu sema vita. Sema vita vya kiro. So this is a picture of spiritual warfare. 
Bwana anasema irejeshwe vita vya kiroho. Mhm. Mm Unanisikia? Irejeshwe nini? Kwa sababu kuna neno mama alisema Tusiwe wazembe. Hiyo ni Hebrews chapter 6 verse 12. Lakini tuwe watu ambao kupitia uvumilifu na imani tunarivi ahadi zetu. Kanisa la sasa limebaki pahali ambapo tunasunguka kutoka pasta mpaka pasta mwingine atujajua sisi tunasasimama wenyewe na kupigana vita vya kiroho. Lakini Bwana anataka sasa kuturejesha tusimame na tupigane vita vya kiroho. Najua kwamba tuko katika vita hata saa hii. Lakini unasasimama. You should not be moving from town to town, city to city, pastor to pastor. You need to understand that you have all the power. The, Mungu anaposema katika Psalms 144, 1 and 2, nimefundisha mikono yako kupigana vita na vidole vyako kushindana, inamaanisha kwamba wewe una uwezo kupigana vita. Sema hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, Roma takatifu anatupatia uwezo wa kupigana vita. Na na katika kupigana vita, Roma takatifu anatupatia vitu kadhaa. Number 1, anatupa what you call spiritual intelligence. Usiwahi pigana vita kama hujafanya uchunguzi wa kiroho. Amen. Hata wa jamii yenu. You need nataka uchunguzi hata jamii yenu inakanga aje. Mimi ufanyanga hivyo. You need to get information. Wacha ni waulize. Mungu hakuwa na uwezo kupeleka wa Israeli Kanan bila kupeleka wachunguzi. Mungu alikuwa anataka kuchunguza nini na niende ametengeneza hiyo Kanan. Lakini Bwana kabla haujapigana vita vizuri, lazima upate information. I am very sure hata kabla hata kwa serikali kuna hiyo department of intelligence. Why intelligence? Because you cannot fight well without proper and accurate information. Ninakuuliza swali moja. Wewe unasamanga tu tu, tuombie kwetu. Umeweka na kufanya uchunguzi ya kwenu inakangaje? Because Paul alisema, sitaki kupigana vita kama ila napiga hewa. Kwa sababu unasapiga hewa kusema tu naombea kwetu, naombea kwetu, kuombea kwenu waje. Get the right inf and accurate information. Pata ujumbe na habari kamili ili utakapopigana, maandiko nasema kwenye klabu, kitabu cha Ecclesiastes 10:10. Ecclesiastes 10:10. Hebu tusome hiyo. Is it 10:10? 10, 10? Oh. Yes. Yes, this one. Remember. No, no, give me New King James version. Do you yeah. Good. One to go. Aha. Uh -huh. Wachi hapo. Acts inaitwa ya shoka. Shoka likiwa haijanolewa utatumia ngufu mingi kukata shamba kukata muti si ni kweli lakini akasemaje but wisdom bring success lakini hekima ndio inaleta mind so badala ya kutumia ngufu mingi mtu mmoja alisema ukipewa miaka kumi kukata muti tumia miaka nane kuchonga kushapen shoka ukate na miaka ngapi Lakini mtu ambaye ni mjinga ataanza saa hiyo. Mkono yake sitaisha. Ninawatangazia pateni wisdom. Wacha niwapate ni wapatie katika ulimwengu wa, kiro, wa kipepo. Haleluya, mnanishika? Ulimwengu wa kipepo iko na branches ngapi? Branch ya knowledge ndio inaitwa divination. Branch ya power ndio inaitwa witchcraft. Na branch ya wisdom ndio inaitwa sorcery. So yeye yeah, akona yeah, all branches. Ako akona knowledge, akona power na akona wisdom. We need to use all this but now in the right way. Tunahitaji kuchunguza. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. One time One time kuna mtoto wetu ambaye bado ni mtoto wetu sahi lakini alihama wakaishi hapa wakaishi hapa isinya amen wakaishi hapa isinya wakaishi plot moja kwa hapa sitataja maana maybe sasa unaishi hapo lakini wakakuja wakatuita na mama kila wakati hawalali usingizi hawalali hawalali 
kwanza kufanya research na kuelewa kumbe hii nyumba waliingia ni watu wengine waliingia so, nikisema wana wa Ishmaeli unaelewa yeah. na unajua wana wa Ishmaeli wakiingia pale lazima wa Reis Analta so, nikisema wana watoto wa ile mama nyingine so, unaelewa ni wakanaana ongea juu yao na wao hawezi ingia pale hawezi anza biashara hata waindi hawezi anza biashara lazima wa Reis Analta so kumbe walipohama wao akaingia juu ya another altar. So hii altar inawapiga maana hao wameokoka. So ilibidi tulipopata hiyo information tukaanza ku revoke ndio wakae katika amani. Bwana asifiwe. Mungu angalia jina lako mwambie bwana asifiwe. Mwambie uko na information kiasi gani? Ya kupigana vita. Wacha niwaulize. Wakati Amerika waligonga ile mtu alikuwa anaitwa nani? Ulikuwa ulikuwa nafikiri waliamka tu akagonga ili wagarimu miaka na miaka ya kufanya nini ya kujua kutoka kwake na kuingia yes you need information it's called spiritual intelligence amen in spiritual warfare another very important thing you need is you need spiritual strategy unahitaji mikakati ya kiroho mikakati katika vita vya kiroho mikakati ya kiroho why am i saying that because the spirit has a strategy for every war every battle hebu muniangalie walipoingia jericho bwana asifiwe walipoingia jericho waliambiwaje mtachukua jericho na strategy gani musunguke mara sita mkinyamasa alafu ya saba hey! alafu nini kaanguka wali ilgusa ikuta walipotoka Jericho wali attack gani ta, wali attack city gani ai naitwa ai 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 kwa nini ai walianza kusunguka kama vile walitoka Jericho ai iko na strategy yake strategy yake ni nini mjikate mara mbili endeni watu wa vita elfu ngapi 20 mjiweke 15 pande hii na 5 pande hii alafu wale waende am, ku, kuambush pande ile na nyinyi mje pande hii alafu mkikimbishwa mjifanya mnatoroka walipo toroshwa walipo torosha waisraeli moto ikaakishwa kwa bo, kufanya hivi hakuna pale ya kutorokea wala wakainuka boma imechoka hiyo ndio inaitwa naona sana every place kuna strategy wengine wanaanza nauliza boma yenu watu waliokokaje nilifunga siku tatu wao kaanza pia siku please uliza strategy ya kwenu ya nasa kwenu nasa kwa ya kwenu si ya kufunga Haya ai. Nasa kwa strategy ya kwenu si ya kufunga. Mwingine anasema mimi strategy ya kwetu niliita tu pasta. Wacha nikwambie nilitoa ngiri gabi kumi. Unakuja kuniambia pasta? Niko na sadaka ngiri kumi kwetu. Every home iko na strategy. Hata hiyo ofisi unafanya kazi. Vita vyake vya kiroho ulisa strategy. Nasa kwa strategy yake ni wewe unawahi hapo for three months wewe unaandanga hapo saa kumi na moja uingia kabla watu wajaingia unai piga maombi ya wana hiyo ndio strategy for three months oh jesus bwana yesu asifiwe uliza mwanzako strategy ya kwenu ni gani yes that's why you need to get intelligence uelewe strategy ya kwenu one time let me tell you something one time bwana alinitoa hapa my dad ali, aliaga 1999 tarehe 1 mwezi wa 7 kusamani sana siku moja bwana akanitoa hapa nikaenda nyumbani Nikikaa sitting room kwa kiti hivi. Nikiomba the Holy Spirit akaniambia toka. Nikatoka. Sije na nipeleka wapi? Akanipeleka aka akaniambia anda paka kaburi ya baba yako. Nikaenda. Kaniambia ongelesha roho za wafu. Ambia hivi. Mukae huko atuwahitaji hapa duniani in the name of Jesus. Ah! Speaking to the dead. Ambia hiyo roho Maybe in the spirit in affects in attack some other people. I know mimi sijui. And I wonder and I spoke I said you died and the Bible says ulienda na ulienda. Usi why talk wala ambo kusoma ile Saul alienda akasema Samuel atolewe. Bwana asifiwe. So menengi Bible kuna roho inasatoka kuja kusumbua watu kama mjaijwa. Then number 3 You, you need spiritual consistency. 
Uitaji kugonga mara moja gonganganga. Hebu sema gonganganga. Yeye yeah, anaitwa spiritual consistency. Some battles take time to end. So we need usiseme niliomba jana. Hii mama yetu, hii pepo ikichwa ngumu, please continue. Gonga, 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 gonga. Hii sinya tumegonga mara ngapi? I'm telling you, siku moja muomba itatoa maji. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Naongelesha watu ambao mmegonga kuna 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 kitu mmegonga mpaka mmesema nimechoka. Usichoke. And then the last thing is you need spiritual alertness. Spiritual alertness. Now, why am I saying this? Katika vita vya kiroho watu mara nyingi ufanya makosa. Kuja hapa my son. Umeombea kitu, umepigana na nguvu za giza, za kwenu ya wapi ya yako? Buku jaba. Nina unapiga unapiga mpaka unatorosha. So the problem with many Christians, akitoroka unastare. Akitoroka always ka chonjo because vita ijaisha. Mnaniela watu wa Mungu. Ndio maana naambianga nyinyi wakati Daudi alipoua Goliath alipeana kichu alikata kichu akapeleka Jerusalem lakini upanga akayaka hapa because alijua vita bado mnakumbuka in the book of uh, first Samuel chapter 30 wakati ambapo Ziklag ilichomwa na wali, Daudi alikuwa na watu 600 200 wakalia kwa sababu wake zao walichukuliwa mpaka wakashindwa kwenda vita Daudi alienda na watu wangapi 400 alipoingia hao maadui aliangamisa maadui Wangapi umaadui walitoroka? Kama mnajua Bible. Waliotoroka ni 400. Si kama mnanishika? Alimaliza maadui wakatoroka miangapi? Na nyinyi mko miangapi? Hiyo kitu na kuonyesha aje. Usianze kulala kwa sababu 400 kama nyinyi wako hai. Ayai. Uwe. Bwana sifiwe. Ndio wengine wanasemanga bwana tumekemea hii mapepo ya kwetu na tukakuja kutoa ushuhuda na ikarudi tena. Ulikuwa unafikiri wanaenda waendange. Akbada waja watarudi. So you must always be alert. Kaanga chonjo. Bwana asifiwe. I said bwana asifiwe. Amen. Yes. Hata kwa ofisi ya kazini unasakuwa na shida na huyo Mungu atoe. Usiseme ati ametoa, anasalete shetani alete ingine kwa namna ingine. You must always be alert. Simameni niwaombe. Wow. Bwana asifiwe. Restoration of the gates. Wangapi wamepata kitu at least kuna jambo umepata. Ume learn something? Have you learned something? Yes. So unapoenda kupi leo ukianza kuombea kwenu, ukianza kuombea ni number 1 elewa. Pata pata na, na, na intelligence si roho peke yake. Hii intelligence unasauliza hata wazee. Yeah. Unasa uliza wazee, kwa nini mambo inatenda kanga kwetu? Hata kuambia. Hata kuambia. Kwa nini mambo inatenda kanga kwetu? Tulikuwa na hui juzi. Afikiri tulikuwa na ye. Tukianda huko mstuni. Imagine. Ili, tul, eh, tulikuwa na ye. Hata ni wafikiri uwe ntulipeleka. Tunanda boma kuombea ambaye baba aliwa mtu kijana yake mdogo juzi tu akimaliza secondary aka tulikuwa naye pia akaua mtu nataka kuniambia inakuwa ya kawaida na na kijana secondary wamemaliza last paper Wame, anamalizia paper ya mwisho wakicheza ball akagonga tu mtu hapa hiyo story ka kaenda hivyo nataka kuniambia kijana alipanga kuua mtu it is that pattern so what is needed is God give me, give me a strategy ya kukomesha hiyo ya mauti. Otherwise isipokomeshwa itaendelea tu. That's why we need to say enough is. Na yenu unahitaji tunana. Na, 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 na ndio maana masaini nimeanza kukemea hiyo ya kukuambia kuja tufunja madhabahu tumetoa ngombe. Nani aliwaambia lazima ngombe ndio. You see by the way sometimes we need to be very careful because hata damu ya Yesu mnasaacha mkisema ni ngombe ndio nafunja. So we have to be very careful because kitu tena nzuri kiaribiwa na saribika. Then number two, who said? Nasakuwa ta Roma takatifu anasakuongelesha. 
Na sakuwa roo mtakatifu wana kuongelesha. Si hata ngombe. Kwa ni strategi ya nani sakayo ilikuwa ni nini? Ukitaka musama. Okay. Wakati wawu liwakoka ulifanya nini? Si ulipika magoti. Sama yesu. Misame. Na ukwakoka. Lakini ya sakayo ya ikuwa hivu. Ya sakayo ni rejeshea watu. Eh, yeah, very simple. Alipo sema ndarejesha akaambua sasa. Na kama angetubu. So I want to talk to you the online those people who are watching online. In the name of Jesus, we have been talking about restore, restoring the gates. So ninaomba leo Bwana aweze kurejesha katika maisha yako. Na leo tumesungumzia urejesho wa lango kadhaa na hasa tumeguzia the fountain gate unahitaji bwana arejesha roho mtakatifu katika maisha yako na roho mtakatifu akirejesha akirejea katika maisha yako kuna vitu vita, ambavyo vimefungika itaanza ku flow kuna urejesho pia of the host gate bwana anarejesha spiritual warfare akupe sensitivity akupe i mean in te- spiritual intelligence akupe strategy akupe consistency ya kuweza kupigana vita vya kiroho you also become a lot in the spirit ujue ni nini ambayo utaweza fanya ili vita hii bwana kupigania na siku ya leo katika jina la Yesu nyinyi ambao mnapigana kiroho katika maisha yenu katika ndoa zenu katika jamii zenu nimesimama kinyume na hizo ngome zote bwana akupatie strategy na hizo nguvu zote za giza mungu akafunje na akakuweke huru kwa sababu hiyo ndio mapenzi yake na roho mtakatifu akatawala katika maisha yako in jesus name hebu tuinue mikono yetu ala boshagara bagara basika in the name of the lord Naomba Roho Mtakatifu aka flow katika maisha yako. Naomba kama unahitaji tu Roho Mtakatifu aku aweze kutembea katika maisha yako. Hebu muambie Roho Mtakatifu nijaze leo. Nijaze tu. Bwana nataka kurejesha tena kujaza. Na yeye ambaye hujawahi nena katika lugha mpya, Bwana nakujaza saa hii. Na unanena katika lugha mpya. The flow, the flow. Anything you may Let the Holy Spirit start flowing right now. Flow, 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 flow of the Holy Spirit. Just lift up your hand. Just lift up your hand. In the name, open your mouth. Shalabolobo Open your mouth right now. There is a flow. Flow, 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 flow. When you know that answer when you are in your intelligence, ya kupigana vita vya kiroho. Kasha tunuko na kodi. Labo shala bagara bagada bagada. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Labo shiri bala bagat la baga. Flow. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Labo shekada. Fungua kinyo chako na usungumze. Bwana na kujaza in the name of Jesus. Flow. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Labo shekada maga. There is a flow. There is a flow. Flow of the Holy Ghost. Flow. Flow. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Flow. In the name of Jesus, there is a flow right now. Flow, flow, Holy Ghost. Everybody pray, 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 pray. Batiza watu wako, batiza watu wako. Jaza watu wako, jaza watu wako. 